Good morning, Ole. Good morning, good morning, fourth graders. So we have um, Isa, Steph, uh, Chacha, and Maxine sa ating class ngayon. So, yun po, puro late na. Ayan, si Agu. Agu is here. Alright, so last time, nagkaroon tayo ng uh, discussion about uh, the uses of computer. Alright, so pwede natin makikita ang computer sa mga offices, sa hospitals, government agencies, at home. Yan. So, yung mga uses of computer ay ginamit sa, sa the medicine. Okay, so, computers are widely used in hospitals, mostly for diagnostic purposes. So, ginamit ang computers para madaling malaman for the medical personnel uh, for them to know easier and faster uh, the illness of their patients. For them to be, uh, for them to be able to identify uh, kung saan nanggagaling yung sakit. Right? So, some of the examples are the CT scan, MRI, uh, PET scan, and yung mga yun examples computers being used in medicine. Computers are also used in uh, as business management tool. Okay, so ito nga sa mga manufacturing companies. Robotics have been used um, to manufacture metals, cars, bottles, plastics, and many more. So, dyan ginagamit ang computer as business management tool. Hindi nyo follow? Kasi nung last time, ano, yung quiz, uh, medyo ano, no, uh, mababa yung nakuhang scores. So, yung, every, yung mga situation given ay parang hindi yata naunawaan kung saan siya, uh, saan siya, pasok, kung saan siya kasama, no? kung saan siya pasok. Kung saan ginagamit ba ang computer. Computer are also used um, on information and communication. So yun nga, so systems combine technology of radio and television with computer. So ginagamit din ng um, computer sa broadcasting. So for us to be able to see um, to see ads and to see pictures, to see um, shows sa televisions and radios, ginagamit din ang computers. Ayan. So sa broadcasting, ginagamit din siya. Also, um, com computers also used in control system. Control systems like air traffic controller, um, it uses radars, computers, and for it to be able to give instructions sa mga aircrafts kung kailan sila magte-take off at kailan sila magla-landing. Ito yung nagbibigay na instructions sa kanila sa mga aircrafts. So without the, uh, the air traffic controller, so medyo magiging mabigat, magiging mabigat ang daloy ng traffic since baka magkabanggaan yung mga aircrafts. So air, air traffic controller ang responsible para sa air traffic. Contro um, computers are also used in textile mills. Okay, so the, uh, those are generated machines na ginagamit sa pag paggagawa ng mga fabrics. <clears throat> paggagawa ng mga tela. Okay, yung mga damit natin, they are fabrics. At ito yung mga machines na gumagawa niya. These are the machines that use in textile mills. We just have your review, na-discuss na na last week. Okay, so computers are also used in engineering, architecture, advertising, and design. So yung mga engineers, sa pagdidesign ng mga bahay, pagdidesign ng mga buildings, ng mga, ar ng mga architectural nila, like mga tulay, roofing, so they use computers. They also use computers in designing video games. So anong, uh, uh, alam nyo ba kung anong video game ito? Apo. What is it? Minecraft. Yes, that's Minecraft. Okay? Very good. So, ginagamit dito sa, video, uh, sa mga animation, sa paggagawa ng mga like Encanto, um, Incredibles, sa mga animations. 
So, ginagamit yung smog. Mga paglalagay ng mga special effects, mga movies like uh, Marvel, um, Captain America, Iron Man, Incredible Hulk, Spider-Man, yung mga ganong movies. So, yung paglalagay ng special effects in movie production, computers are also used. Right? Computers are also used for record keeping equipment. Mostly sa mga libraries. Ayan nga. Instead of having this um, cabinet with card catalogs. So they're also, they already been input to computers. For record keeping. Computers are also used on money, banking, and finance. So sa, sa loob ng mga banko, they're being used there for bank transactions. Just like here, they use the teller. Okay? There's a teller here. So she's using a computer for uh, sa mga transactions niya. Okay? And also, computers are being used sa mga ATMs. Automated teller machine. Which can be used for 24 hours withdrawals and deposits. So anytime, pwede na mag-deposit si, si, si client, pwede na rin siya mag-withdraw anytime using ATMs. That can be seen sa mga malls, sa mga convenience stores. Ayan. And even sa, dito sa atin sa plaza, meron, di ba? Uh, I think it's Land Bank. Tapos meron din sa 7-Eleven, sa mga convenience stores. And for cashless transactions, pwede na nang magagamit ang computers. It's like nowadays, meron tayong tinatawag na mga apps like Gcash and Paymaya. Meron din Coins PH, and yung mga ganyan, Bitcoins. So computers are being used for cashless transactions. And lastly, ginagamit din ang computers at home. So gaya ninyo, kayo ay nasa bahay, kanya-kanyang bahay, you're using your computers for online schooling. And there are some applications at home na hindi naman talaga literal na computer, but they are considered computers like microwave ovens, um, DVD players, mga digital na coffee maker, mga modern uh, AC na ano, uh, air conditioner, uh, what else? Mga modern electric fans, um, smart TV, yan. So they are considered computers. And for today, ang ating magiging discussion is all about the capabilities of computer. Right, so capabilities of computer, when you say capabilities, these are the, uh, sa Filipino, kakayanan. Yung kayang gawin ng computer. What does computer can do? Right? So those are the capabilities of computer. So list down muna tayo. I'm going to list down the capabilities and then later on, I'll be explaining each one. Okay, so first is it can perform mathematical operation at high speed and great precision. Okay, please take notes of this. Second, it can perform repetitive tasks without fatigue or boredom. Third, it can store and recall vast amounts of facts and bits of information. Fourth, a computer can process data transfer uh, fast. Uh, sorry, a uh, computer can process data faster than any other machine designed to perform similar tasks. And lastly, computer can communicate with the user in any other machine. All right. So first, I know. Um, Capabilities of computer, first one is it can perform mathematical operation at high speed and with great precision. All right, so the computer calculates numbers and values faster and accurately. All right? So it performs self-checking. The computer performs self-checking to keep the integrity of data. A computer can add, a computer can subtract, multiply, and divide many numbers at the same time. So when it comes to speed, we can rely on computers for they are really fast when it comes to computation and data processing with 100% accuracy. 
correctness. As long as, it's, as long as it is given the correct data, right? So, hindi nagkakamali ang computer sa computation kahit na malaki ang amount of data. Basta, tama ang ibibigay na inputs. Right? So, they are fast when it comes to computation and data processing with 100% correctness if it is given correct data. So, that's the first. Naintindihan ba? Understood? Yes, no. All right, so second, so ito na, no? uh, naging same lang, naging same yung kanyang uh, text. All right, second is, it can perform repetitive tasks without fatigue or boredom. Okay? Um, I'm going to give you an example, no? a situation. Okay, let's say, I told you, fourth graders to draw a bird. So, halimbawa, pinag-drawing ko kayo ng bird. So, after a while, you were done drawing bird. After that, I told you to draw again a bird. Sa so, second na yun. For the third time, I told, I asked you to again draw a bird. Hanggang sa umabot ay sa seven times. So, seven times ko, seven times ko na kayong pinag-drawing. So, what do you think uh, what would you feel after that? Aren't you going to complain? Or papapagod ba kayo? Yes, for Agu. How about the others? Hindi kayo mapapagod? Kung paulit-ulit-ulit-ulit kayo pag-drawingin <laughs> ng bird? As in, you're just... Mapapagod po. Mapapagod. And, of course... Sa tingin nyo, kung paulit-ulit yung bird, yung bird lang ang i-drawing nyo, sa tingin nyo ba hindi kayo, ma hindi, hindi kayo mabuboard? Mabuboard po. Oh, diba? Mabuboard din kayo, diba? So, humans can become very tired and bored. But not the computer. Sabi nga sa ilalim, no? But not the computer. It does not need any motivation to perform a job. Well, a computer can do a job as many times as you want it to be without uh, without complaining or getting bored and without stopping unless you turn off the computer power. Okay, just like sa mga malls, okay? just like in the, in the image, you know? in the image that you're, you're seeing right now. So there are uh, they are graphic displays, mga ads, advertisements that you can see mostly sa mga malls. They are being played, they are being shown for the whole night, whole day and the whole night without stopping. So they can do this, you know? computers can do that. They can be played as long as they want it to be. Magdamag, maghapon, ah, as long na hindi pinapatay siya, as long, as long that they will not turn it off. So they will just, just going to show uh, the advertisement. So, repetitiveness, okay? Or repetitive tasks. Yan ang kayang gawin ng computer. Okay, naintindihan mo sa repetitive? Okay, it can go on and on and on and on as long as you want it to without stopping, without complaining. So, that is uh, repetitive tasks. All right, third. So, it can store and recall vast amounts of facts and bits of information. So sa ilalim, large amount of data can be stored in the computer. Any stored can be recalled anytime. Right? A computer, uh, um, it can keep a whole set of cyclopedia pa nga eh. So how many books do you have for graders? How many books do you have? For this school year? Five. Okay, five books. So imagine, kahit mga times 100 pa ng books nyo ngayon, or even times 1,000. Kaya yan lahat. So even, even a thousand books be stored in the computer. So, 
Why? Because a computer has large storage capacity. So you can store and recall vast amounts of facts and bits of information. Ganong karami ang pwedeng ipasok sa loob ng computer. Even the whole set of encyclopedia. Pwede mong i-store sa computer yan. Okay? So gaya sabi ko, kahit a thousand of books pa yan, you can store it there. You can store it in, in the computer. Understood, sir? Alright. Fourth. So fourth is, computer can process data faster than any other machine designed to perform similar tasks. As simple as this one, it can perform millions of operations in just split seconds. So just like um, just like the first capability of computer, no? it can perform millions of operations in three seconds, not just calculations. So uulitin ko lang din. I'm just going to repeat it. When it comes to speed, we can rely on computers. For computers are really fast when it comes to computation and data processing. So that's uh, one of the highlights, one of the highlight capabilities of computer. Yung pagiging mabilis. Right, speedy. Fifth capability is a computer can communicate with the user and any other machine. Again, it can communicate with the user and any other machine. So one major development in technology is the internet. Right? So we discussed about internet uh, during our TLE. So TLE subject natin. Anyone can immediately get a response in seconds using email. Hindi gaya dati, na? Uh, before kasi, you have to wait for several weeks, even months, bef uh, bago pa dumating yung reply sa yun ng pinadalhan mo ng sulat. Just like what we are doing right now. We're communicating. Diba? We're having our online class through computers and internet. Tama, mali. Diba? We're, having, we're having a discussion right now. We're having online class. And we're using internet and computer. Right? So that's a fifth. It can communicate with the user and any other machine. Right? Any, any question about capabilities of computer? None? Okay, let's have a quiz. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 sorry. Wala, wala mo ng quiz, okay? So I don't know if a computer has capabilities, it also has its limitations, right? Kung meron siyang kakayanan, meron din siyang limitasyon. Kung meron siyang kayang gawin, meron din siyang hindi kayang gawin. Right? So the first one is, a computer cannot do, okay? It cannot do what it is not instructed for it to do. Right? A computer kasi is always dependent on the data and instructions. So the operations it performs are based on the instruction given by the users. A computer cannot perform operations which are not asked for it to do. Right? So without, uh, without humans, without us, walang kayang gawin ng computers. Okay? Example, um, have you been to Alpha Mart or Save More? Yes, no. Alpha Mart, Save More. Nakapunta na ba ron? Opa. Who's not here pala? Ah, si Chacha. Chacha wala. Okay, si Chacha ang nawala. Okay, so kapag magbabayad ka na, if you're done... Uh, if you're done for looking for stuffs that you want, you're going to buy, saan kayo pupunta na para, para magbayad? Where do you have to go? Para, mag, para magbabayad na. Sa? Sa? Sa security guard ba? <laughs> Louder, please. Saan? 
Bye po. Bye. 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 Hindi ka pa na magbayad eh. Magbabayad ka muna. So where do you have to pay? Kung tapos ka na mamili, siyempre, magbabayad ka na. So where do you have to pay after looking for stops? Inside the Alpha Mart or inside uh, inside Save More? Where do you have to go if you're if you're going to pay already? If you're about to pay? Kapag magbabayad ka na, saan ka pupunta? Sa Owen. Sa? Bahay. Sa bahay na? O di ano, ninakaw mo na yung ano. Ninakaw mo na yung mga, mga binamili mo kasi hindi mo binayaran eh. Of course, you need to pay for it muna, di ba? You need to pay for your for the stuffs that you got from the, uh, for, you got from Alpha Mart. So pupunta kay sa counter, sa cashier, di ba? So the cashier has computer, it has cash register. And then sa kanyang cash register, sa kanyang computer doon or POS kung tawagin, it has a scanner. Yung scanner ngayon, it uh it's called the barcode scanner. So itatapat niya yung item na pinamili mo. Di ba? Itatapat niya sa scanner and then uh, the computer will read it and then show you the price kung magkano yung item na yon. Di ba? Automatically it will read uh, the barcode and then show you the price of that stuff of that item. And then automatically iaad niya nang iaad yung lahat ng pinamili mo. Hanggang sa makuha niya yung total ng lahat-lahat na yun. Okay. So sabi ko nga, it, automatic na siyang malalabas yung amount. Right? Tama ba? Do you follow? Okay? So the question now is, what if hindi ginawa ng cashier yung pagtatapat ng item sa scanner? What if she didn't do it? What do you think the computer will do? Will it show you the amount or not? No amount? How about the others? Isa, Miel, Steph, and Agu. What do you think? If the cashier did nothing at all, do you think uh, the POS or the computer will show you the amount? Hindi, di ba? So it means uh, there were no instructions so the computer will not do anything at all. It will just stay still. Right? Kasi nga yung limit the first limitation of computer is the computer cannot do what is not instructed for it to do. If there's no instruction, so there's nothing for it to do. Okay? Uh, understood ba? Naintindihan ba yung first limitation? Parang hindi eh. <laughs> okay, next one. It cannot correct wrong instructions. Right? So, a computer is not capable of checking wrong instructions. Because the users are the ones who check errors after the computer detects it. The com uh, computers can only detect, uh, sorry, the compute computers can only detect errors. But computer cannot fix it on their own. Tao pa rin, okay? Tao pa rin ang fix ng errors. So the only thing that computers can do is to detect the errors. So after the detection, it cannot do anything at all. So humans have to fix it for the computers. Right? So they are not capable of checking wrong instructions. Third. Right? So third is computer cannot perform creative thinking. Right? So humans are more creative than computers. Okay, please take note of that. Humans are more creative than computers. That's a given. To bring out a good output, right? 
the computer needs a good input. Of course, good input, good output. Bad input, of course, it's going to be bad output. And that good input comes from humans. Sa tao manggagaling yung input, and then the computer will just give you the output. So kung maganda yung input, maganda rin yung output. I just like um, Encanto. Okay, have you, I, I should refer, di ba? Have you seen Encanto movie? Animation movie of Encanto, di ba? So the creation of, uh, the creative thinking of Encanto came from humans. Hindi naman siya, uh, hindi naman siya kayang gawin ng computer by its own, di ba? So the creation still, humans did the creation of um, Encanto and not the computers. So without the creative thinking of human, hindi mabubuo si Encanto animation movie. Alright? Lastly, fourth, computer is, sub is subject to occasional breakdown. So just like humans, a computer needs caring because it is uh, because it is subject to occasional breakdown due to improper maintenance, um, to, due to improper use, and due to wear and tear. And that is also why uh, there's always do's and don'ts lessons in our subject to remind everyone, to remind you what caring must be done to computers. Diba even before sa ating TLE subject, uh, when our, uh, nung, during the ICT, nung ICT pa yung ating pinapag-aralan, uh, lagi tayong may do's and don'ts. How to take care of your computers. How to prevent uh, uh, your computer from malwares, from viruses. So lagi may ganon. Kasi nga, we have to take care of our computers. Because no matter what, it is subject to occasional breakdown. Masisira at masisira yan if we're not going to take care of it. Right? So we have to clean it. We have to properly take care of it. We have to install anti uh, antivirus software. Or we have to use firewall para hindi mapasokan ng viruses. So yun yung ano, uh, yun yung mga pangangalaga, no? That's how to take care of computers. Any questions? Kasi that's it eh. Uh, that's all. In, hanggang doon lang yung ating ano, no? Yung ating discussion. So, at last, at last, natapos natin yung lesson one. Okay, if there's no question, so check your Google Classroom for your assignment tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow at 8 o'clock in the morning, your assignment will be posted already. For Agu, Agu, um, wala ka. You haven't submit your assignment yet. You haven't submitted yet any assignment. So you have assignment last uh, 10 points. It's worth 10 points kasi. I'm just going to show you up. 